Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about double integrals. So now I will show you the technique. If we look carefully about this one, this is about the circle and we need to wrap the function in here. So we have y and s we know that this is smaller than or equal to number one that means the radius in here is about the square root of number one you got about one we know that y is greater than number zero that means that should be about positive so we just have this area in here now we can use about polar coordinates so we put about s equal to r cosine theta y equals to r psi theta so we put about d dy ds equal to r dr d theta so we have new trip or uh, new double integrals so we have s we change for this one over the square root we know that this is about s square this is about y square if we put the square in here you got about cosine theta square and sine theta square if we zoom to it, if we zoom together this one you got about number one so you got about r square in here the s dy we change for this one about the r that's about the radius that's it from zero to number one and the theta that's it from number zero to b because they go to this way in here next we need to simplify this one you got about R. R and R they will simplify and you got this one left So we don't have R in here, so that means we just have cosine. Sorry, this is our B. Cosine theta. And we have R. And we put the boundaries in here from 0 to number 1 the theta and you got about number one in here because we just have number one so I don't need to write in here and we got the final answer that should be about psi theta and we have the boundary from 0 to B we book B in here number 0 go, go in here
so you got about zero. That is the end. Thank you for watching.